Hey guys, uh, Mr. Carey here. Um, just want to talk to you real quick about uh, another topic we're covering this week. Uh, we're going to be learning about area. Um, so I'm going to explain it to you kind of what it is, give you an example, and then I'll show you how to do it like a simple way. And it's going to get more complicated than this. But basically, area is the amount of space that something takes up. So like, I want you to think about if you were looking at your bedroom, right? And your mom or dad wanted to put in some tiles or a rug on the floor and they wanted to know how big of a rug to get. So they'd have to measure, this is where you'd measure area. Area is gonna measure the inside of the space. Like length would be the outside, width would be well, how wide it is on the outside, but area would be how many spaces there are inside, okay? And then what we measure them with is, if you ever go to Home Depot, you'll see things that are like square feet. Um, so like a tile on the classroom floor, that's a square foot. It's one foot this way by one foot. Um, so it's one foot all the way around. That's called a square foot. But if you were measuring something big like a town, you'd measure like square miles. So it'd be like one mile this way by one mile this way. It'd just be a square, one mile each on each side. Um, or if you're measuring something very small, maybe you'd want to use a square centimeter or a square uh, milliliter, millimeter if it's something really small. Um, so we measure in different things, but basically we're always going to be using the term square something. Today we're just going to use square units or just squares, okay? But basically we're just measuring how much space is inside um, a subject and so if the, the, the shape is either a rectangle or a square uh, or a squared like a rectangle and another rectangle put together um, then you'll have an exact number but if it's like a round shape then you would have like you'd have to make an estimate or like about um, so like in real life the other day well not the other day the summer I was putting in um, in my shower I wanted to put some tiles on the wall. And so I called the company in and they said, you know, oh, we could do it, but it was like thousands of dollars. And I was like, I'm not spending thousands of dollars on tiles. So I went to, so what I did is I, I measured the area of the space that I wanted to do on the wall. And I just measured um, the length by the width and I just kind of multiplied it and did a little math that I'm gonna show you how to do. And I figured out how many square feet I needed and I went to Home Depot and I picked out some tile and I, had, I bought the right amount of tiles. I put a little extra just in case I made a mistake and I did the work and it saved myself a ton of money. So area is like one of these things where it's going to be a, a real life skill. Now, how do I do area? Well, I'll show you. It's, it's actually really, really easy for now. It's going to get harder, but so sometimes it's gonna be a shape like this, where it looks like an array, right? And how do I solve an array? Well, I can multiply, right? It's a three by two, I can count by twos, two, four, six, I can count by threes, three, six, or I can just count by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we'd call this six square units. Now in a weird shape like this, if there's boxes in it, I'm just gonna count the boxes, right? So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 square units. So if it's a weird shape like that and they give you the boxes, you just count them, all right? Now this one, it is a shape of a rectangle. So it's a six by eight, right? They don't show me the boxes, but if you know the length and you know the width, you know uh, if you multiply them, you'll know the square units. So like if your room is like 10 feet by six feet, if you measure with tape measure, one side is 10, one side is six, and it's a rectangle, you just multiply 10 times six is 60, and your area is 60 square feet. Um, so this is a six by eight. So I just multiply six times eight, you all know, six times eight is 48. And so I'll get 48 square units. And again, this is just an array, so I'm just counting, right? You can count by ones. You could say, well, it's a four by three. Go by fours, four, eight, 12. But say this one was inches, right? Four inches by three inches, then I would say, uh, sorry, 12 
square inches, not units, okay? And say this was a three by one, two, three, four, five, a three by five, let's say it was centimeters, right? So I just go five times three, or you could count by ones. I'd rather skip counts, a little quicker. Five, 10, 15 square centimeters, okay? Now, what's crazy is you might say, Mr. Carey, why do you keep saying square? Well, let me tell you, on the test or in real life, um, you know, it's gonna be 15, it's not 15. 15 square centimeters is very different than 15 centimeters. 15 square centimeters is, it's just very different um, because you're measuring inside of that. And then ones that are these weird shapes, you just count one, two, three, four, say four square, I don't know, we'll say uh, inches, say they were inches, okay? All right, um, so that should get you through the first uh, day or two. Um, I'll make another video tomorrow on this stuff, but um, all right, good luck tonight, and I uh, hope you are watching this and using this, and hope you're all feeling good. All right, night, guys.